Hi everybody. I get this question a lot and different people do it different ways and they use different things to do it. But um, there's a certain way that I clean the altar and it's just your bare bones basic way. And uh, have, as you can see, I have a lot of stuff up here. A lot of people will say don't show your altar, but I show my altar in a good majority of the videos and I actually think that showing it on here since I have instructional videos is kind of important and you know it's not exactly like I'm doing anything malefic on here or I'm doing something I'm not supposed to. This altar honestly is mainly for homage so I mean I don't have a problem with it so with that being said as you can see it's very full and I'll get the camera. I don't have a tripod so this is difficult. Um, I have some some pictures up there, some I drew, some I manipulated. Uh, that's my that's my tattoo on my arm. Um, and some of these things were gifts that I truly, truly, truly appreciate. And uh, some of these things were were bought, you know. And like little things like this I got during Halloween, but come on, Amanda, how could you not get that <laughs> during Halloween? And some of these things on here were, were jewelry that I wanted to wear that, that I got or that were given to me. And she was like, nope, I want it. Because every time I put it on, I just had this overwhelming, you're not supposed to be wearing that. You're not supposed to be wearing that. So like these little bracelets, this pendant I wanted to wear so bad, but the moment that I put it on, even after leaving it with her, trying to infuse it with a little bit of her essence and everything, she was like, nope, you can't wear it, it's mine. I'm like, okay, fine then. I don't want it then. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is just basically clear all this off. I'm going to see if we can... Sit you right here. I'm trying to lean the phone on something so y'all can see. And maybe I'll just fast forward this part during the video because this is pretty tedious, monotonous. Oh, also like, like for example, this candy has been on here since April. And yeah, it's time to throw it away. So that means that she won't have any chocolate left on her altar, so obviously I'm gonna have to get her some more. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna start taking things down, throwing things away that I need to throw away. I do get lazy with it. I think we all get lazy on occasion. Um, and it gets messy, and I don't like that very much. So, I'll be right back. Look at this. No. Mm. Oh, look. A monarch. I hope you can see it. I caught it at the, uh, at a hunt, I'm sorry, at a hunting lease. It was already on the floor, I didn't kill it.
another Halloween one. Yeah, throw these away. Let me rephrase that. We're going to throw them outside for the birds. And no, I'm pretty sure it's not going to kill the birds. you to see something look at all this that's from incense hey it kind of looks like a bat <laughs> that's cool all right so let me pause the video real quick okay these bottles are a few things that I had you know Florida water um, I found this spray at the flea market they only had one and it really doesn't really smell that great. It smells kind of like, it's gonna sound really racist and really bad, but it smells like the bathrooms in Mexico. That's the best way I can describe it. It smells catchy, I'll just put it that way. Um, I have some like floral water because I know that she likes floral scents. So we're gonna use that here too. After we clean, I have some rose water because everybody knows she likes the roses. And I have my own mixture here. Now, I didn't mix it properly. See, look at that. It's basically a carrier oil and it's rue and salt and rosemary. And those are usually used for cleaning, like eliminating negative energy kind of thing. And so I'm gonna use this on the statues, but what I'm gonna to use to clean this mess right here is first this rag, watch this. Look at that. That's all incense. I burn incense every day because it smells good. And okay, so we got all the dusty stuff off of here. Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to get a little bit of Florida water. You know, it's got alcohol. I don't know if this wood has varnish. I'm sorry, it has a stain. I'm not sure if it's gonna affect the stain, but you know what? Having a clean altar is a hell of a lot more important than affecting the stain on the wood. So I'm just going to clean, 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 clean. The entire thing that rhymed. I'll get in there. I'll get behind those bottles here in just a second. Hi, Georgie. It's nice and alcoholy. Some people make their own, you know. Some people make their own uh, Florida water. Some people make their own um, cleansing fluids. What's the other one? Something 1800 points. They make their own. It kind of looks brown a little bit, but props to those people that make their own. That's pretty cool. I'm not that imaginative or that patient. So, okay, Florida water done. We'll save you for a little bit. And let's just spray. Hardcore Mexican bathroom. <laughs> but you know what? That's the culture in which she was spawned from, so let's do it. 
Mm, you know what? Once you spray it, it actually smells pretty good. It smells polvo, um, like baby powder is what it smells like. Yeah, there we go, baby powder. That does not too bad of a smell. Okay, so let's uh, set this down because that's for the statues. And then you know what? Let's open up this floral water. Let's see what it smells like. I wish there was smell vision so you guys could smell this. Let me see. <sighs> All the other smells are getting in the way. It smells like uh, old lady perfume in a good way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of take this and just kind of do that on the wall. <laughs> oh, look what I did to the paint. Oops. I'll clean it off. I'm the one that painted the wall anyway, so screw it. Look, now you have little drip marks on your wall. <laughs> it's all good. Do not hire me to clean your house. It's all right. The statues are going to cover it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that smells about right. Yep. Okay. So we, whoopsie, <laughs> we cleaned this. And you know what? Maybe we'll skip the rose water for the statues. So let's do that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tablecloth down. That's super floral, super girly, super old school Mexican. Check it out. You might have seen it, if you go to the Etsy shop, you might have seen it in some of the background of the pictures. It's a tablecloth, but it's so cool looking. This one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it. I hope you guys can see me okay. Well, you don't have to see me, just see the altar. We're gonna fold it again. Now guys, this is not fire safe. So don't mimic this unless you're like really good with fire safety. Always keep water around. So let's get you on here. Oh, look at that, it fits perfect. I never put this one on here before. Kind of hangs down a little bit, but you know what? Did he nail it down? Yeah, I think he did. And yeah, I think he nailed it to the wall. Yeah. No? Maybe. I don't freaking know. Anyway, the statues will hold it. So, we get that just right. Maybe I should use a smaller one. I don't want this to fall. Should have planned this better. Okay. So, there, that'll work. You know what? A lot of people stress themselves out so much about the altar. Oh, you know, the altar, it's gotta be this, blah, blah. You know what? All you really gotta care about is impressing yourself and impressing her. You know what? Yeah, she's got a dark side to her. It's what she was spawned from, you know. But she's not as vindictive as you guys think that she is. I mean, yo, yo, she's nobody to trifle with. But, you know, she's not going to get mad for every little thing. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, don't stress so much. If there's a little tiny screw up, it's not like the end of the world. You know what I mean? So, does that look stupid? Okay. All right, so, yeah. All right, what we're gonna do, see, technically, I should have cleaned her first before putting her on the altar, but we're not gonna tell anybody, right? So we're gonna take these off. All right. We're gonna put the statue here, because I don't have a bowl big enough. Well, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna do it this way. Um, we're gonna get the rag and the Florida water. Hold your breath. 
Put some Florida water on here. Get it all over the floor. And clean, clean, clean. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. <laughs> and clean all of this. You know what? Mainly for dust. But keep it nice and shiny and pretty. Get in there in them eye sockets. And turn around and get your little booty. And go down here because this is where all the dust collects. Down here. And position you straight. Get in here for all the dust. Get your little owl head. Get your hands. And yes. Yes, girl. Okay. I think you are nice and squeak a clean. Now Let's spray you. Woohoo, girl, you smell good. You're gonna go out tonight, meet some folks, party. Okay, let's do that rose water. Get a little bit of it on here. Yeah, yeah rose alcohol, that's what you smell like. Rosy alcohol. Mm-hmm. I smell nice and lovely. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mary, bring me a bowl. Go get me a big bowl. Because we're going to dip these in here. Go get me a bowl. Nice and pretty. I hope that that stuff doesn't strip the paint. I guess I should have looked into that first, huh? Give me a bowl, boy. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we put some fluoride out water. Get in there. Ain't any potential negative junk off of you. I know there's a few haters out there. For what reason? I don't know. But there will always be. Just angry people. Just generally angry people. Okay, what else are we going to clean in that bowl? Let's see here. Why Look at this beautifully, beautifully made rosary. We're going to clean that too because you never know, just in case. And these are the other charms and pendants from the other statues. We're gonna clean them too. Little bracelet. The ring. Clean that. This pendant that I wasn't allowed to wear. And this little thing that I made. Okay, that's clean, clean, clean. Help if it was open. And just pour that in there. And you want to make sure that, you know, pouring alcohol-based uh, liquids on your stuff is not going to harm them. So just clean, 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 clean. We're taking a big old bath here. Yep. I want to drop the liquid but we're just cleaning it all off i gotta be very careful because some of this stuff is 
sensitive. Uh, I probably shouldn't have put my beads in there. <laughs> the water's red. And the water ran us of red. Okay. Now, we're going to put her beads back on her. If we can get them out of here. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Would you look at this? What did I do? Why don't you get to shake in the sign? No, I was not done cleaning yet. Take it over there. Why don't you get to shake in the sign? Side. Apparently, I've been mispronouncing it. Side, side, side. I still have a hard time thinking about it like science. Is it like side? Side, 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 side. I get pretty. Merrick, take it to your room. You want it off the shoulders or on the shoulders? Yeah, how do you like it? How's that? Is that good? Very good. There we go. And we'll clean these off nice and squeaky clean. I got this all dirty. Nice and really good. I love rainbows. Okay, I think that's all for you. I need your size and your grill. Just clean this off like this. Put it in your hand. And the same thing with the side. Side. I keep saying sky. Side. Side. There. And this is important because she goes whoop, whoop, whoop whenever there's a message coming in. So I need this to be extra clean because it's like an antenna. For me, anyway. People watching this probably think I'm crazy. I'm not. You can ask other devotees. Not all of us are crazy. So, yeah. So, like, whenever there's a message, you see this? It goes, whoop, whoo, whoop, whoo. And I'm like, what you want, man? And she's like, whoop, message, whoo. <laughs> I think they wrote on the forehead before they sold it to me. He's got like, take that to your room. Now. Why not get your tape on the side? Guido, why not get your tape on the side? Okay. Guido, I'll put your little crown. And we have to lean it up against the picture because it falls. <gasps> How pretty. Aren't you so pretty? Okay. Now we clean your little fanny too. Let's uh, get some more water. Let's get some water. And clean uh, La Blanca. Like I said, you're mainly, mainly cleaning dust off. What you got in that book there? What you pointing at? You're pointing at that rose. You're not even pointing at any of the content in the book. Is that a crown? That book is empty. Yes, it's a crown and we're going to put it on right now. She pointed to blank pages. The skeleton lady's crown. You know what? We're going to put Whitey on this side. <laughs> Whitey. I meant that because of the room. Anyway, um, you had this beautiful rosary. 
It was a gift from a very talented lady. Nice and clean. I put it on here. I don't want to mess it up. It's so pretty. So I keep it right here in safe hands. Oh, and you also had what? You had my ring, didn't you? No, it wasn't you. It was the other one. You had that. No, you... What the heck did you have? I forget. No, you only had that. Okay. All right. Yeah, we clean this lady. y'all can see this. I hope this video ain't for naught. Hold on. I'm about to yell at my son. Take that to your room. Take that and your tablet to your room. I'm busy. Go. And close your door. Talk back to me. Okay, we good. Now, why does this look off center? Y'all playing with me. Okay. Well, you over there, Miss Rainbow, had this, and I'm pretty sure it lost some color. Little skulls. There we go. Ah, you had this one. Ugh, I got so pissed because I couldn't wear it. See how pretty? Hope it's focusing. Yeah, and I can't wear it. I start getting this like heavy, bad feeling like if I took somebody else's clothes or something. You know what I mean? But as soon as I put it on here, it's like, oh, that feeling is gone. You know, I'll put it down here. And we'll just. Well, I can't get it any tighter. Well, that's probably why I did it like this. And then just throw it behind you like that. There we go. That's a heavy pendant. You look like uh, Mr. T. Okay. Now this one is very, very nice. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm just going to kind of lightly, lightly spackle. Still achieves the same thing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. With your pretty self. Yes. You go over there. All right, what else we got? Oh, we forgot Queenie's crown. There we go. Okay, um, oh, I forgot these, these little guys. If you find these, get them. She loves them. We'll put them under here. Okay. Ah, we'll quit moving. <laughs> All right, the ring. You had the ring over here, rainbow face. There you go. And you were, where were you? 
Oh, around old rainbow over there. Okay. Look at this. So cute. And I can't wear it. The only thing I can wear is this one. This is the only one that I've never had trouble with. I got this at a local witchy shop. And it pokes. It's so thin and it pokes my boobs. But, um... I can't wear this, even though I like it, and like I've said several times in this video, if she wants something, she wants it, you'll just get that feeling that it doesn't belong to you, but that you bought it for a reason. Oh yeah! You let her, she'll get expensive. Here you go. Hold on. And then we'll do this. I'm not trying to choke you. I don't, I don't think you can choke, but there. Nice and pretty. And then we got one little bracelet left. Ah, uh, did you see that? Did you see that? That fell off by itself. Did you see that? <laughs> what? You don't want it? You don't want it? You wanted it before. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I'm telling you. Most people would freak out by that, but I think it's freaking hilarious. What? Anybody else got anything else to say? I have a feeling I need to shut my mouth now. Look at this little cute one. Got it at the flea market. It's the black one on one end and the red one on the other end. And it's got a little cross. And it's got little knots in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten knots on it. I like it pretty. So I'm putting that on this one. There you go. If it falls down again, I'm going to freaking crack up. Okay. Let's do rainbow candle over here. Let's take this bowl of nastiness. Look at this. Can you see it? Hold on. That's from all the dyes and stuff. Let me see if the camera's positioned right. I'm leaning it on something that's not very sturdy. Oh my God, would you position properly? Thank you. How's that? Is that good? Too much hallway? Oh Lord. Would you just stay? Um, uh, I'll fix it in a minute, hold on. Okay. There's still a few other things I need to put on here. It's more hallway, right? Yeah, it's more hallway. Okay. Um, let's clean this. I don't want to be too rough because this is wax. But it's so pretty, I would never light it. Okay, you go there. Who else? Who else we got? We got this little guy. And you, you can go there, aww. And then we got this one. Let's check it out. It's all black and glittery. Let's clean your ball. And then you can go over here. You pray for it, girl. And we got this. I know this is somebody else's artwork, but if I need to pay him, I'll pay him. So I don't have the money. But yeah, I made this. Oh, let me see. Um, it should actually go on the wall, but maybe I should just put it up there. Well, no, it won't hang because it's one of them boxes. Um, um, 
Let's put you over here. You're all over the place. Okay. Now we got this. I hope it's still recording. Yep. Say a whoop. It's a whoop. It's a what the fuck? Hourglass. Obviously. I got it, but didn't really seem to like it too much. But you only asked for it, so. And we have the owl. It's a uh, piggy bank. And you can go on top of the hourglass right there. And we have this cute little guy that was a gift. So cool. And I put that. Right here. There we go. Okay. Hold on. And look at this. Ain't this super cute? Oh my god, and smell. Dude. Like the best way I can describe it is like old library. And it brings me back like so many memories. Anyway, you can go right here in front of La Blanca. Stay. There. And this I made, wanted to sell, but never sold it. It was supposed to be like a prayer box, but it broke. So I was like, you know what, I'll just keep it. There's a lot of things I make with the intention of like, you know, getting them out there to other devotees, but they always end up staying here for some reason. So where will you go? We'll put you over here. Oops, don't move. Go right there. Yay. Okay. Now we have this, this little cauldron, which is super cute. We will put you over here. Something goes there. Aha! This, this goes there. And what else? What else goes there? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it if you are. Okay, you know what? I'll put this little guy there. There. Okay. And now, the oil. Which I probably should have done before, but everybody knows I'm not so organized. I'll just put it. Slippy and slider here for a minute. <laughs> ah, told you. If you don't want it, just say so. Ah, uh -huh. there you go. Well, you are slippery. There you go. Let me swap it over. Switch away.
Now you put oil on these, it's gonna collect dust. So just letting you know. Don't put too much oil. If you do use oil, you don't have to. And you, well, you pretty much got extra cleaning, so we'll just oil your face. Got your money, got your incense. We can put this away. Let's uh, spray it down one more time. it and that's how I clean it only thing that's left is you know what? I might as well just go get it let me go get it I'm gonna pause this okay the only thing that's left is the offerings this is Sour Patch Kids with six lits and I'll just put those right here and dos equis with a cup. And we'll pour it right here. Oh, I hate the sound of pouring liquid. Ugh. Okay, where will we put you? We'll put you over here. No, wait. I know. Right here. There we go. And the rest, I don't like beer. So, I just pour it out. So yeah. And that's how we rearrange and clean the altar this time around. I have all my incense right here. See, the long matches, lavender. So this one, even you guys, just because it has the picture on it, doesn't mean that it smells good and doesn't mean that she'll like it. What I do is I go to the local smoke shop and get nice smelling ones i smell them one by one get nice smelling ones that smell super girly she likes those and musky like frankincense and myrrh sandalwood patchouli stuff like that yeah the old school stuff yeah like i tried this one and me so that's about it and 
and voila. That's, that's it. So we'll see you later.